a couple of months ago, I got a notice from Fiat Chrysler that there is now a recall on this van and it involves the engine. So it is a big recall. And I just wanted to talk you through what that recall is. If you happen to have bought one of these vans secondhand, you may not have gotten a recall notice. Okay, so I'm starting from scratch filming this inside because the audio outside was not legible. So this recall involves the engine, and this is specifically for the 2.4 liter inline four engine, also known as the Tiger Shark that Chrysler has used across the board uh, on a number of vehicles that they've sold, uh, including Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Fiat vehicles. Uh, but again, this is for uh, my van, which is for a 2015 Ram Promaster City. Now, the reason for the recall is because of oil consumption in these engines. And this doesn't affect every single engine. And so because of that, Chrysler has a procedure to follow to check the engine and to see if it falls under their tolerance or if it doesn't. Now, if it doesn't, they uh, are saying that they will fix or replace the engine. Uh, but first, to get to that point, you do have to follow this procedure. Now, the procedure is quite simple. Uh, you can go to any... Chrysler Ram or Dodge dealership and you can have them start the test. Uh, the test involves the dealership giving you a fresh oil change. Uh, after the oil change, they put some seals on the engine just to make sure that you're not tampering uh, with the test. Then they send you on your way for 1500 miles. Uh, at 1500 miles, you can go back to that Chrysler dealership that started the test or to any other dealership that you are comfortable with. Uh, once you start the test, you don't have to complete it with the same dealership. You can go to any dealership. So, uh, so you take it back to the dealership uh, of your choice. They will then remove the seals that they put, the tamper evidence seals that they have on the engine, and they will check to see how much oil is in the engine after that 1500 mile driving period. At that point, they will make a decision as to whether they will uh, fix your engine or replace your engine. Now I did immediately take my van into a Ram dealership. I talked with the service advisor, I actually talked with one of the repair technicians as well. Uh, about the procedure, and uh, I let them know that my situation was a little different than most people's, uh, that I live in my vehicle, uh, and that I am currently traveling. Um, now, one of the things that I didn't like about the test procedure is this 1,500-mile test. Uh, so I've owned the van now five years. Uh, for the last three years, I've had to top up the engine oil from time to time. And what I've noticed is when I'm driving the engine under a heavy load, so say like up a mountain pass or under really heavy uh, stop and go driving, something like that, uh, I find that the engine uses a little more oil than say if I'm just driving normal city driving or just uh, regular kind of easy flat highway driving. So I said to the service advisor that I'm not so sure that my van will go 1,500 miles without using less than a quart of oil. Uh, and so I said, is there any way around doing this test? He said, as far as he knew that there was no way around that, I would have to go through the test, uh, but I could certainly call Fiat Chrysler and ask them what they had to say about it. Uh, which I did. And uh, they basically told me, absolutely not. I'd have to do the test just the way that they have it laid out. And so uh, I opted not to initiate the test, uh, but I am doing a test of my own. So today I got to 1,500 miles. I'm actually just a little under 1,500 miles at the moment, but close enough to 1,500 that I thought it would be a good time to test it. I have been checking my oil, so it wasn't a big surprise as to how much uh, oil I've used over the time period. But uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't used much. Uh, it was a very small amount, 
which is encouraging on one hand. Now, on the other hand, uh, it's a little bit discouraging because the engine still does use some oil. Now, I'm not a mechanic, but I would think that if the engine is using oil now at about 70,000 miles, it's probably going to get worse as it ages. Um, the other thing that I found out in doing a little bit of research is apparently Chrysler considers uh, an engine to be within tolerance if it uses one quart of oil every thousand miles. Now, I'm not sure if that's true. I haven't been able to verify that, but I've heard that from a reliable source. And so it kind of makes me wonder just what kind of junk Chrysler is putting out. Now, I need to say, though, that I've owned this van for a little over five and a half years, and I've had very little trouble with it. I've had two problems with it. Uh, both of those problems were the same. Uh, both of those problems were fixed under warranty, the warranty that the van comes with, uh, a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty. Uh, both of those were ignition coils. Uh, and like I said, they were fixed under warranty. Uh, I'm now well past warranty period. So if I could get a new engine, I would probably like that. So I haven't decided to not do the test. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to do any major damage to my engine, being that I can't check my oil, which is something I normally like to do. Now, I did call Chrysler Fiat and I did ask them what would happen if the engine used too much oil during that 1500 mile test and the engine oil dropped down below a proper level and the engine was damaged. They wouldn't answer that. They wouldn't give me an answer. Uh, they said, if you want to get a new engine under warranty, you have to follow our test. So it makes me a little wary to go through with the test, but like I said, I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna do. Going by what I've heard, it uh, doesn't sound like my engine is gonna be one of those engines that would be replaced under warranty, uh, fixed or replaced under warranty, I should say. So uh, good news and bad news uh, that way. Uh, doesn't look like my engine is bad, but uh, yeah, I have encouraged a lot of people to uh, take a look at these vans. I know several people have said that they bought these vans purely because I have one and I've, I've had really good success with it. I really hope you didn't buy one of these vans and have a bad engine. Uh, that would make me feel really bad. Um, but something you might want to take a look at and decide what you're going to do. Everybody's situation is a little bit different. Uh, my situation is I live out of the van full time. And so, um, yeah, it makes this a little bit of a nerve wracking situation about what I should do. Now, I should mention, too, that news of this recall has changed my plans quite a bit over the last two months. Uh, I'm on a little trip right now, and uh, I was expecting to get around and see parts of the country I haven't been to. I was hoping to travel east, very far east. Uh, I put that off because I really didn't feel comfortable driving too far without uh, really knowing what I was going to do about this recall. Um, I think my plans have kind of changed again now because at least the tests that I have done over the last 1,500 miles uh, have shown me that um, I don't have a whole lot to worry about, at least not yet. And hopefully that will continue. Uh, we never know. Uh, this is life, isn't it? So um, anyway, uh, that's all I know about this. I think I've told you everything that I have figured out. Uh, like I said, hopefully if you have one of these vans, you're able to get some answers for yourself. Uh, at least you may want to check it like I have and uh, just monitor how much oil you're using because uh, 
Yeah, that would be a bad thing to happen, to blow an engine uh, on a inexpensive van like this. Anyway, uh, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for watching today. I really appreciate it.